Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we're diving into an exciting and essential topic, setting up an RS232, 422, and 485 serial 2 Ethernet device server. And if you're looking to bridge the gap between your serial devices and modern networks, you've come to the right place. And if you have any questions about your system design, feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with the solution that tailor for your specific needs. So now let's get started. Before we jump into the nitty gritty, let's talk about why integrating serial devices with modern networks is so important. Now, many industries still rely on devices that use serial communication protocol like RS-232, RS-422, and RS-485. And these devices are reliable and have stood the test of time. But they lack the ability to connect to today's Ethernet networks. So by using a serial 2 Ethernet device server, now we can bring these devices into the 21st century and allowing them to communicate over a network, BSS remotely and integrated into modern systems. So what exactly is a serial 2 Ethernet device server? In a simple terms, it is a device that allows serial devices to connect to an Ethernet network. It translates serial data into Ethernet packets and vice versa. This means your serial equipment can now be part of a modern IP-based network, opening up a world of new possibilities for remote monitoring, control, and data acquisition. And now, Let's briefly go over the RS-232, RS-422, and RS-485 serial communication protocols. RS-232, this is one of the oldest serial communication standards. It's commonly used in short distance communication and connects one transmitter to one receiver. However, it has limitations in terms of distance and speed. And RS-422, this protocol is designed for higher speed and longer distance communication. It supports multiple receivers, so making it suitable for more complex setup. And RS-485, similar to RS-422, RS-485 supports even longer distances and more devices on the same network. So it's widely used in industrial environment due to its robustness and reliability. And understanding these protocols can help in choosing the right one for your application and configuring your device server properly. Device servers play a crucial role in connecting serial devices to Ethernet networks. They come equipped with various ports for serial connections and an Ethernet port for network connectivity. And the main purpose of these servers is to convert serial data into Ethernet packets. And enabling remote access and integration with modern network system. So now let's talk about some common use cases and application for serial to Ethernet device server. This transformation is vital for applications in industrial automation, point of sale system, and remote monitoring. Now, many industrial machines use serial communication. So by integrating them with Ethernet, we can monitor and control these machines remotely, improving efficiency and reducing downtimes. And in POS system, often use serial devices like barcode scanners and receipt printers, so connecting them to a network can streamline operations and enhance data collection. And for applications like environmental monitoring or utility management, connecting serial sensors to a network allows for real-time data connection and analysis from remote location. And these are just a few examples of how powerful and versatile the serial-to-Ethernet device server can be.
So now let me introduce you to our RS-232, 422 and 485 serial to Ethernet device server available at fastcabling.com and this device is designed to bridge the gap between serial and Ethernet communication seamlessly. So let's take a closer look at the components of this device. Our device features RS-232, 422 and 485 serial port giving you the flexibility to connect various types of serial devices and it also has an Ethernet port for network connectivity and their LED indicated lights for power Ethernet link activity and also serial data transmission providing real-time status updates so here are some key specifications and features of our serial to Ethernet device server. It has multiple protocol support. As you know, it supports RS-232, 422, and 485 protocols. So making it versatile for different applications. And the device supports high-speed data transmission, ensuring efficient communication between your serial device and the network. And with user-friendly web interface, which I'll show you later, you can easily configure the device setting, including baud rates, IP addresses, and more. And also, it is built to withstand harsh environment. So this device is perfect for industrial applications. And here's how you integrate our serial to Ethernet device server into the system. So right here we have a PoE splitter. This PoE splitter is receiving power and data through a single Ethernet cable from the WebSmart PoE switch. And this splitter can split the PoE into power to the junction box and data. And this junction box is going to power both our converter and our sensor. And our sensor here is also connecting directly to our converter. So we can convert the serial data into Ethernet data. So this is a short patch cord connecting directly to the PoE splitter. So this is a 100 meters Ethernet cable connecting directly to our WebSmart PoE switch. So the switch is providing both power and data over that side and receiving the data from the sensors and the device server. And I'm going to use a short patch cord connected directly to our computer. So now we can view all the data on our computer. So let's check out what we'll need to do. So now we're looking at our device server's web interface. You can find everything on here and adjust all the settings. Here we have all the information. This is the serial port. We can adjust the baud rate right here. And the operational mode, system management, security settings. And also you can change your password on the web interface. But in order to view the data from the sensor, we'll need two things. First, the VCOM software. Since we don't have an actual COM port on the computer, that's why we have to create a virtual COM for the connected device. And it's pretty simple. Just hit Add Device, here Search, and here we go. We have our device on the list. Let's look at the IP address in Match, and let's add it to the VCOM software. And for each device, it has a COM number. Let's remember our COM number is number two. And here we go, we have a displaying tool. This tool can help you display all the data. You can use this tool or you can use the one from your sensor. And here, let's remember our COM number is two. So just hit open serial. And voila, here we have the real-time data. We connect it to a temperature and humidity sensor, and this is what we have. If you connect to other sensors like the wind and water and noise, you can view all the data on this same two here. So it's pretty convenient. So here we go. Now you have everything you need to connect your devices and view all the data. 
So integrating serial devices with modern networks doesn't have to be a daunting task. With the right serial to Ethernet device server, now you can unlock new capability and improve the efficiency of your system. Now I hope this video has helped you understand the importance and functionality of these devices. Now if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Now thank you very much for joining us. Before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tech tutorial and review. And I'll see you in the next video.